Hey guys, welcome to another episode of MSK Coding. And in this episode, I'll be showing you another program I made. This program is a clock, as you can see by the title up here. And first, I'll show you the result of the program. So I'm going to run it. Full screen, and boom. It's just an analog clock. So the short hand is the hour hand, the longer hand is the minute hand, and the red longest hand is the second hand. So, you know, once you've seen this, and also the exact time and date is shown up on the title here. So now we will go into the program. So first, we import turtle, you know, this is a turtle program here, then we import time because you know it's a clock and we, imp we import os to just do some time zone stuff um and then here we do os dot environ tz equals the string so the tz here means time zone so we're just setting what um the time zone for this replet is so that's pst plus eight pdt m310 m1050 so this basically just me this is the sort of time off from utc um here i'm actually pretty sure it's minus eight and seven but for some reason we need to do plus eight then um this is just for like some timings on when daylight savings starts and when it ends so, and then we set this time zone right here and then for debug we, we print the time zone name which works it's pstpd then function slash variable setup so our angle is the lambda function our um is basically 30 times r so this is a function our angle it's defined to have an argument hour that returns 30 times hour so lambda functions are like one line functions they're yeah they're like useful when you don't want to have to like do def and then arguments and then return and all that so minute angle equals lambda minute to six times minute so argument is minute we return six times minute second angle is the same thing as minute angle just second instead of minute um, then min to add, minutes to add, um, returns basically just half of what's being inputted. And sec to add returns one twentieth of what's being in, uh, inputted. And full angle with hour, minute, second as its inputs is hour angle of hour plus min to add minute plus sec to add second. So basically, it just shows... Um, what if the um it was like just plain like hour like you know one o'clock one hour zero minutes zero seconds and then if there's minutes um like if it's not just one o'clock and it's like one o five we have in to add and then if it's like one o five fifty four we would have sec to add. So then we have reset turtle um, of name, the name of the turtle. So that's name.home and name.set heading 90 degrees, which I'm, which is like upwards actually, since um, that's just how it is. Um, I think you can change it by being in like logo mode or whatever. I don't know. All the super duper specifics from all this. So we have, I'm setting scale to be 0 0.75 here. Then circle size is 300 times scale. Then setup turtle is a turtle. Time draw turtle is another turtle. Text turtle is another turtle. And small lines turtle. Another turtle. So we're just um, setting up four turtles here. Or it, you're like, you know, creating the turtles. Now we're setting up where they are. So we create the screen variable. 
then we set them to be like super duper fast and then we set all like all of this part is just set up to be like so you don't see them at all and they're all pen ups and it goes super fast pretty much like so you know hide turtle hide turtle hide turtle hide turtle hide turtle pen up pen up pen up no circle drawing the setup turtle dot go to zero circle size so basically what it would do is it starts here at zero zero then it goes to zero circle size which is like right up here at the top that's where turtle setup turtle goes then it goes pen down so now it's going to start drawing then it creates a circle of minus circle size just go in a direction there so it creates the circle then it goes pen up and then we reset it um, back to the beginning and then we um, do pen down again for whenever we need setup turtle so then we do text turtle dot go to zero five times circle size by s divide by six that's just five six the circle size so here text turtle whoop, and it just draws these numbers on the side so it's five sixths of the six turtle size because you don't want to be you don't want the numbers to be right on the border now we'll do the um, minute line drawings so these small lines so four num in range 1 to 61 that's actually iterating through 1 to 60 inclusive um, text turtle dot circle minus 5 times circle size of so 6 by 6 that just goes from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 to 8 to 9 to 10 or goes in between on these ones this um, tiny little lines so if num modulus 5 is not equal to 0 meaning if it's not a multiple of 5 and uh, the reason we do that is because each multiple of 5 is where we put the numbers here you see so 12 4 lines 1 4 lines 2 4 lines 3 4 lines 4 then we do a small lines turtle it goes to the position then it set um, it sets the heading to the text turtle heading. Then it uh, turns right 90 degrees. Then it goes backwards um, 10 times scale. Then it does pen down. Then it goes forward again. And then it does pen up. So basically, the, um, the text turtle is going like this way and so we want it to we want the small lines turn out to be going down or perpendicular to the circle pretty much and that's why we turn right 90 degrees now our number drawing so this is bit of manual tweaking that i did for angle list um, just to get these numbers to fit pretty well um, or at least the best that i could get them so for index num in enumerate um, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So what that does is just gets the index of it in the first one. So index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3, index 4, index 5, all, all the way. And it also gets the number, what, like the 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then it does text turtle dot write the number. It aligns it in the center, and the font is Arial, the, um, I think, the font size is 20 times scale and it's all normal then like no bold or italics or whatever so then we do a uh, text turtle dot circle again to go to um, the next part over here I guess the next um, the next number that you write So then screen update, time draw turtle dot reset. So we reset it. Um, and then we do the reset turtle function. So we use the inbuilt turtle reset and then we do our own reset. Then we hide the turtle. Then we get the current time. So our minute second equals time dot local time. 
and this just gets the um, hour, minute, second, because it gets like a time struct and that includes um, the, you know, the day, the month, the year, and all the stuff that we don't need. So we just um, slice the um, list, or it's technically like a time struct structure. Then, anyways, we take hour and we do um, hour modulus equals twelve because on an analog clock you can't really show um or a 12 hour analog clock you don't show um you know am pm so you just do a modulus equals 12 and then a screen dot title um just the time with the date here it's um percentage x and then the time is percentage capital x and then um, we insert the time here. So that's what the title up here is. 08, 15, 22, 9, 44, 12, or 13, or 14 now. So that's what the title is. I'm drawing our hand here. So time draw turtle dot right. Full angle hour minute second. So um, this just starts here and it goes the full angle. Remember up here, we made the full angle lambda function. So it goes the full angle. Or, 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 oh, yeah, here, sorry. It goes the full angle, and then it goes forward 100 times scale. Then it stamps itself. That's how we get the arrow over here. Then it does pen up, and it resets. Minute hand. Pretty much the same thing, but we use minute angle instead of full angle, and 150 times scale instead of 100 times scale to make a, a longer arrow. And for second hand, it's literally basically the same thing, but second angle. And actually, we change the color. So we change the pen color to be red, um, and this time it's 200 times scale for the length. And then we also set that to be red, and then we do stamp, and then we change it back to black. Change time draw turtle back to um, back black. Then we update the screen. So pretty much um, every time you call screen update, it draws all the lines and it updates screen. So while true, try screen update, except break else time to sleep on so this just goes forever and if you ever close it it'll just you know break instead of making a an error if you ever like stop it um and else every second we call screen update again so yeah that's pretty much the code for this clock i hope you like this episode of msk coding and i'll see you in the next episode bye